Hello friends, welcome to my channel Dream Abroad once again. I am very happy to see you all and your responses are tremendous. Thank you for giving me so much love. Now today, uh, we are going to discuss what steps should you take immediately after receiving a refusal, visa refusal for uh, CB. It can be applied for every university of Canada that if you are receiving refusals on the basis of only two reasons you are not going to leave Canada and we are not confirmed that you will leave Canada at the end of your studies this is the most common reason they are giving so what to do in such circumstances first of all please keep your mind so stable that it's okay to have one refusal it is not a big deal then you have to mentally be prepared for this then what you should do next is just go to your agent and ask him that please demand a caps note for me that uh, the caps note will help you to know in depth reason of your refusals uh, so once you get your caps note it will take a time of uh, around one or two months to uh, bring the caps note but that's okay you can defer your one semester instead of re reapplying it and making refusals most common i made this mistake please you don't make the same mistake i am i got uh, three refusals i got three refusals and for the first time i succeeded so please don't make your that mistake i at the end uh, on after third refusal i asked my agent to bring the caps note and then I came to know that the original reason was different and the reason stated was also different. So please don't make this mistake. Just go to your agent and ask for the caps note. They will uh, they will come to know that what is your uh, actual reason and why you have got refusal. So as per that, you can change your SOP. And trust me, SOP is very important for your visa file. If even above, if you miss one document but your SOP is complete, then they are ready and they read whole SOP thoroughly. So please state the actual purpose, the actual reason of your studies. Because the one who is reading your SOP, who is a providing you visa is also a talented man he is not sitting over there just for a reason he is an ircc officer make sure you give him each and every queries answer so your chances will get and please don't get depressed after receiving refusals because it's it it is part of our life may just a think that no i have to go and i have to study and i can reapply it for it people uh, i have seen that after one or two refusals they just delay their plans and start with something else in your in their home countries but if you are firm about your studies if you want to study for canadian institute in canadian institute then you can reapply it you can prove your points by, by on the basis of the caps note and they agree to you they are also there. They wanted to give you visa. They wanted that you to study in Canada. This increases economy. So it's also important that you must care, take care for your SOP. When your agent gives you SOP, please read it. Make corrections accordingly where you find mistakes. So that this will help you. This will increase your chances of getting visa. So delays happen, but it's not that you don't get visa. Trust me, it's my personal experience. And if you have any doubts regarding anything, comment me below. I'm here and happy to answer your questions. And uh, I'm going to bring one more video. If you are married and you are going to bring your spouse in near future, then what document should you collect? What is the process? We will see in the next video. Stay tuned. See you till then. Have a good day.